Welcome. This is uh, this can be actually a playtest of a soon-to-be-released game uh, called Rifles in the Nam. It's the fourth title in uh, the Theaters of War. I believe it's published Tiny Battle Publishing, and it's created by uh, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Matardo Zancani. I apologize, my Italian is non-existent. But again, this is uh, soon to be released, I believe, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a playtest session, session here. Uh, this is usual disclaimers, everything's subject to change, but it's close here, and it's in a well-established series, so the uh, majority of rules are pretty, uh, pretty set and pretty uh, used here. So what we're going to do here is I've got a vassal mod here. I've tweaked it to include the new stuff. Just built on the Pacific's uh, rifles in the Pacific vassal mod and added what I needed. Uh, and we're actually going to do mission number six: uh, search and destroy. Your squad must clear the area, detect any enemy forces hiding in terrain, and eliminate them. <clears throat> Reveal all event markers and eliminate enemy forces from the map. Okay. Now the limiting thing is there's only 13 turns to do this. Um, and in this game, we're bringing in artillery support. So that can be called in. There's an encirclement rule. If the uh, friendly forces get encircled by having, uh, I guess, enemy units on either side of them, you don't get as much activation. <coughs> Rice patties could be present, and they'd have booby traps here. Um, so when we come down here, here are the different events that can occur. We're going to randomly f um, put these out. Event markers E1 to 5. Place 1 on strips 1, 2, and 3, so we won't use two of them. And then E6 to 10. Place it on 4, 5, and 6. And we've got nothings. Enemy. We can roll on a patrol table. Uh, then we got nothing. Ambush. Booby traps. And more enemy. And we do have... Uh, Enemy presence table. Here we go. One to four is nothing. And then there's a patrol table, I believe, that we roll on here. Yeah, here's a patrol table for the Viet Cong. And uh, I think we could be also finding the NVA. So uh, obviously this is a solo game. And uh, with all this randomization, we're going to randomize the enemy forces. They could be NVA or VC. Uh, and then we actually have to roll for the types of terrain there on the different stripes. And then the event markers uh, could vary between games, so obviously, and then we've got randomization down here. There's a lot of uh, replayability here, even for this one. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, at least in this video, do the initial setup of the scenario. I don't know if I'll get to the point that I pick my squad, but uh, first thing we got to do... So let's do this. Let's roll 1 to 4, 5 to 6. We're going to see uh, what we are fighting against. So, roll dice. NVA. Okay, so we're going to be playing against the NVA. I think I got them here. Yep, here they are. Here's the NVA. We'll look at that later. Uh, let's see. So the next thing we got to do is uh, roll for terrain. And we're using one die. Stripes one and two. That's the end of it here. Open with two X trees on a two or three. Jungle with a four to six. You see one. Open with trees. Two to three jungle. Four to six rice patties. So let's go ahead and roll for stripe one. Stripe one is jungle. Okay, let me go find that. Okay, I found my markers here. I'm gonna put jungle here. Okay, then we're gonna roll for stripe two. Rice patty. And that's the one that could have a... Uh... Here we go. Rice patty. Okay. That could be, let's see, jungle. Yeah, jungle looks the same, so we're good. All right, let's roll for three and four. So we're going to roll for three. Two to three is, again, a jungle. And then we'll roll for four. A one. Ooh, deep jungle. 
That could be hard to find bad per bad guys in. Okay. And let's look at five and six. More jungle. Wow. Jungle gives plus one defense, affects everybody in here. And let's roll for the last one. Oops. Ooh, another rice patty. Booby traps. All right. So we have figured out our terrain here. Yep, that's good. So the next thing we got to do is uh, build out our event markers. So, well, the other, th I didn't put the game turn marker on. Let me do that. So we are, we've got 13 turns. So we can do this. They say at the end of every turn, you decrease it by one. So that'll get us there. Okay. And now we've got to put down the event markers. So let's see. Pull out my handy dandy random cup I made just recently. Pull out my events right there. And uh, get too much in the way here. So let's see. Events one to five. Let's put them in the cup. One, two, three, and I've got this set to automatically shuffle five. Okay, and then we're going to take events one to five and one on one to three. So that's that one. That's that one. That's that one. And we'll just pull these two down here, and we just don't know what they are. And then six to ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and that should be shuffled. And we'll put those on four to six. Four, five, six. And we'll just put these back without revealing what they are. Close that, close that. Okay, looks like that's set up. So what I need to do next is I think make my squad selection. Yep, I've done terrain, done that. Okay, so the next thing is squad selection. Um, so uh, uh, let's see, I've, I've actually got uh, two choices here, at least for the US. I can do the Marines, USMC. Or the army. Uh, let's see. The last game I played, I did the. Uh, I did the uh, army. So let's do marines. Um, and then here we do see the types of units. Uh, we do have artillery support. That's good. And oh, the marines get 13 build points. So we can look at this in your standard M16 unit here. Got a grenade launcher um, guy, and they give the cost here. Three quarters, four BP for any after the first one. Okay. Uh, light machine gun, mortars, HMG, flamethrower. Okay. And you should always get this. Ten grenades, one BP, max two grenades per unit. So thinking about this, I probably need two squads just for that flexibility. No squad should have more than four. And I will need a leader, too. So... Uh, let me go ahead and figure out what I want to get. All right, I think I've made my two groups here, four each. Um, first group has the leader, two assault riflemen, and a light machine gun. Um, and the leader has one grenade, two grenades, two grenades. And the same here, except now three assault riflemen and a grenade launcher, one grenade, two grenades, two grenades. So just doing the build point math here, uh, this guy is one, two, three, the LMG is three, so that's six, and then this one is one, two, three, and the first grenade launcher is three, <coughs> is six, and six and six is twelve, <coughs> so one build point for ten grenades, max two, so... Pretty much that's my group coming in here <coughs> to start. And the goal will be to move and clear all the enemy as they move up 
<clears throat> through here, and they've got uh, 13 turns to do it. So, I think I'll call it here 10 minutes, try and keep my videos here in bite size. So this is the setup here, and <clears throat> of course the one other thing we have that I didn't mention is we do have artillery support. <clears throat> has a combat factor of 4, attacks twice, and it's <clears throat> area. So that could be effective, but we also need to look at uh, what Deep Jungle does too. So while we're here, let's take a quick look at the rules here. So, just going through here, where's the terrain? Sorry about this, that's event markers. Ah, here we go, jungle, TN plus one unit, all units, so makes it harder to get people here. Jungle, deep jungle, TN plus one, <coughs> two AP to enter. Enemy units revealed in deep jungle are always considered hidden, so you got to spot them. No recon movements. So this is tough. Going to hit that uh, right here. <clears throat> and then rice paddies. Units on a rice paddy cannot uh, can't move and attack. Cancels this limit. And they don't block line of sight. So in theory, um, we could shoot while well. we're coming right into a rice paddy. <clears throat> but it looks like it does give a plus one. And then we've got this concern over here with uh, something about booby traps here. Yeah, here we go. <coughs> booby traps. Every time a group enters a rice paddy, that's the first one. Every time a group enters a rice paddy, on a result of one to two, place a booby trap marker adjacent. And then we have to do the booby trap rules, which could go off or may not go off. So that's kind of messy. So... Let's look at the artillery real quick. Just see what advantage that gives you. Um, and we'll call it here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me pause while I find it. So here are the rules for fire support. <coughs> and we apparently have uh, two attacks. We can do area point. Let's see what it says here. Um, artillery support is available in the mission type is area. I can do it twice, combat factor of four, and it's a two-turn, roughly a two-turn. You call it in, you got to roll a two or higher on 1d6, and then at the beginning of the next turn, you got to roll a two or higher, and it attacks, and it attacks every non-hidden unit, including friendly forces, where the marker is. Yeah, and it's got to be placed within the line of sight of the leader, so the leader is the only one who can place it. It takes one AP, um, and then it attacks every non-hidden unit, including friendly forces. And with a combat factor of four, that's pretty powerful. Repeat the attack for the number of available attacks, remove it after the done. Uh, and if you've got one that's one, that means it'll fire the next time. So it's about one turn. Units in the stripe of the attack won't be able to be activated, and it pins everybody in that hex. So. That's a pretty powerful tool, just don't make it land on your own units. So, so we got our two squads here. Um, I think I've got enough time here. I can probably do the first turn. Yep, we're at 13. Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at the sequence of play. Group creation, well, I've already created my groups here. They do have a standard, and they have a recommendation that uh, shouldn't create groups of more than five. They could become unwieldy, especially since if we had special terrain, you can only put four units in it, so that's good. So I've done my group creation, so the big thing i got to do is roll for unit activation here. And basically, you roll three dice, and a one or two, you don't get an action point. Three to five, you get one action point. Six, you get a bonus point. Uh, a bonus point can be used as an action point, or it can be used um, to enable an action to do better. Um, so, we've got these two, and they're coming in here on the bottom of the map. Uh, six, so I would roll the dice here on the first turn, and dang, I'm not rolling good. <laughs> That's a vassal die roller. A pair of ones is no action, so I get one action. So what am I going to move in? I can move one of my groups in. That's probably what I'll do. 
move uh, move one row and uh, I don't have a I could get a recon if I had a bonus action point but I don't so but time is of the essence the only thing I'd ask is do I want to bring in the leader or this unit uh, let's just uh, bring in this group and that's all I can pretty much do on turn one now there's some things that happen here uh, let's see, we had a special rule. This is a rice patty. So, on a result of one or two, place a booby trap. So I got my one die roller here, and survey says... Okay, something. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop using that die roller and re-roll it. I just don't like the way that thing... Look at that, all ones. Okay, so we're going to roll one die, and on a one or two, I'm just going to use this from now on. Okay, a three. No booby trap, okay? And yeah, I just, that vassal die roller can get pretty crazy. But what we have to do, though, is flip this guy and see if we run into any trouble. Six is nothing. So I'll just move this over here and that actually is the end of turn one because I only had one action point so the next thing you do is you let's see what we did friendly unit attack oh enemy presence check there is an enemy presence check that's interesting so there is a rule we've got no enemies on the board Okay, so there is this, the enemy presence check. If one or no uh, enemy units are present on the map card, roll 1d6 on the enemy presence table. If more than one enemy unit is already present on the map card, meaning two, uh, you don't have to roll for it. So let's do that. So let's uh, look at the enemy presence table. And here it is, one to four, nothing, roll on patrol table. Roll on patrol table. Place the enemy on the highest stripe with no friendly units. Okay, so that would probably be here. All right, so let's pull out our not vassal die roller. <clears throat> and we're rolling one die. Two, nothing. All right, so they dodged the bullets here. There was no booby trap and still no enemy units on the map. So we are done with turn one. Um, we've done everything. Group creation, we only got one AP. So we moved our unit in. The event marker gave us nothing. The rice patty was not booby trapped. No enemy presence um, on the enemy presence check. And enemy forces activation, there aren't any to activate. So we circle around again next turn and probably wouldn't change this and we'd roll again. Um, to see uh, what's next. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop it here for now just to make this a better bite-sized chunk. So, great questions, comments. Dang, I'm, I'm at 18 minutes. I just, I just can't make these short. Anyway, as we said, this is uh, soon to be published, Rifles in the NAM, in the Rifles in the series from Tiny Battle Publishing from Godard Zakani. Um, and... Uh, we are now through the first turn, so next recording we'll see what happens to our two marine squads as they potentially move um, more units in. Actually, if somebody comes on the rice paddy, got to roll for booby trap, and they will, even if they don't stumble on anybody from the enemy, from the EM here, you're still going to roll on the enemy presence table. So thanks for listening, and we'll see you at the next one.